Okay, raise your hand again if, if you've raised your prices while working with me. Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay, if, uh, if, raise your hand, raise your hand. If in the month that you did the strategy correctly, keep your hand up if that month you did the most cash you've ever done that month. Look around the room. Look around the room. The month they raised their prices, if you do it correctly, they got a, the, the highest highest collections they've ever done in their life that month when they raised their prices. Everyone do this, everyone do this, everyone do this, everyone do this, do this, do this. Put your hand up. Everyone put their hand up and go cha-ching. Cha-ching. Okay, but do you guys understand? Yes? It's just a fundamental that in time, and, and, and the way you're going to get, uh, the way you're going to get um, confidence from, let's see who's in the room there, is understand that many people have done it, and You've got a couple of rules with price rises, and this is a big topic. I, you know, I've done whole masterminds on this. But if my rules are this. Rule number one. Rule number one, write down. Right? If you haven't raised your prices, you're never allowed to, do not raise your prices less. If you're in the United Kingdom, you're not allowed to raise your prices less than five. Next is you're not allowed to be anything but five and ten. Prices are all about fives and tens. So if you're 42, and you're not allowed to raise it less than five, and you're not allowed to be you're not allowed to be anything but five or ten, you have to raise your price as what? Seven. Or eight. Does it make eight? <laughs> Does it make sense? Does everyone understand? Okay. So those are my rules. My rules are great. You're not allowed to be less. Not allowed. To less, don't go from 40. There's no point. No point to go from 43 to 45. Zero, none. You m- don't do it because the same amount of people give you the sh- shit for two pounds that that leave or give you shit for two pounds. Promise. You guys understand? Yes. So that's pain. If you're gonna go through some pain, like the conversation, etc., at least make it worth it. <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm gonna raise my prices one pound. The same people leave and moan about one pass raise as a 10 pound raise. It doesn't matter. You could raise it by one P and they would still leave or want to leave. Does that make sense? A certain group of people. So again, does it make sense? So if, who, who in this room, who in this room is on anything but fives or tens? Like 40, if you're on 42 or 37, raise your hand, raise your hand. Or, you know, not those exact numbers, but if you're, on, if you're on anything but fives or tens in your pricing, raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. So what are you guys on, Annie? 47. So you understand your next price rise is, is going to be 45. Uh, sorry? 55, not 50. You under, does, it make, does everyone in the room understand? Yeah. Okay, pricing is all about fives and tens. Fives and tens. Not in our strategy, 49. I don't really know if 49 sells more than 50 in what we do. But I just don't think it's worth the logistical emission of having change or whatever for 49. Just go to 50 in some way, shape, or form. Okay, you're good? You look scared. <laughs> that, means it's, that means it's working. That means it's working. If your price rise doesn't scare you a little bit, it's, what's the point? Okay, good. At your tables, quickly talk about either a win or a challenge you ha- are having around the issue of prices. I'm not saying everyone has to raise their prices now. If you've raised your prices this year, you're good probably. But I'm saying now, what? listen, let me go through this one more time. Whoa, whoa, listen. Right now, what month are we in? What month? The best time in the history of the calendar to raise your prices is right now for January. It is probably the single best time to raise your prices because do people disproportionately spend money on their health in January? Yes, disproportionate amount. Uh, I think gym memberships get 80% of their memberships in the first month of the year in January. Okay, at your tables, quickly talk about your challenges or your wins around price rise at the table and go, and go. Quickly talk, quickly talk, quickly talk, quickly talk. Up and stop. Give someone a high five and say you are r- outrageously expensive. You are outrageously expensive. <laughs> the and then bring my virtual, virtual, virtual back, virtual back, virtual. Uh, Dan, are they coming? Uh, and you can change the timer on those things too. Okay. So quickly. Uh, I'd love to hear someone in the room who raised their prices and it went really well for. And if it didn't go well, I don't want to hear from you. Okay, I'm only joking. But who would like to... Okay, great. Cat. So pass Cat the microphone. Give Katrina a huge round of applause. 
What do you got from Ket? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we've raised twice already. We've only been open for three years in February. Um, we did ours in January for this year, just gone. And we doubled our December takings from the year before and signed up a whole load of bunch more practice members. Yeah. But also being sat here with him, yes. Wendy McLeod's practice manager. Yeah. We're cheap for physio, even mm. though we're the most expensive in the area. Yeah. So we That's can totally good. another price rise now in January. Yeah. And come, okay. And, come and chase them. Okay. How many of you? Yes. Oh. Well, listen. I love this, by the way. How many of you were at, at your table? There was someone at the table more expensive than you, and you were like, "Fucking bastards." <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many of you? How many of you? A little bit like how many of you? Uh, by the way, there's. Um, I will un once learned there's a lot of power in the word disgust. Uh, many people will not change until you're disgusted enough at your current position, and then you come to the mastermind. You'll sit here, and this asshole next to you is charging double what you're doing, sitting on a beach in Langkawi, <laughs> or wherever it is. And you and you are. He has one thing. will hopefully piss some of you off in the room. I predominantly have made my business, um, uh, predominantly, whether we like it or not, most of my business has come off the back of new graduates, right? Uh, I, we are, for, I think, 45 pounds in adjustment. I always say this, if you are in the room right now and you're charging less than 45 pounds, and I promise you, you have more skill, talent, experience than 99% of my associates who have been in practice for less than a year, how many of you remember when you were in practice for less than, how many of you, raise your hand if you were like me and your first year of practice you realized that you didn't know shit. That's who's charging more than you. That's who's charging more than you. I'm talking about the kid who came from South Africa who had never adjusted in private practice before is now in one of my practices seeing 100 a week, charging 45 pounds. He had seen 20 people prior ever in his life, had never adjusted more than 10 people a week in his life, and is now charging 45 pounds in adjustment, and Luke, or whoever, Jonathan, everyone I could look at this table, Laura, the amount of, how many conferences have you guys been to? Just, I mean, dude, <laughs> and we, all, we know you only go for the karaoke, but, <laughs> but, but, but you understand, how many, how many times, you how, many, how many hours of learning have you put into CBP? Uh, hundreds. hundreds, bro. Hundreds. How, well, how's it feel when I say, I hope it pisses you off a little bit. <laughs> it pisses you off. Good. Good. Get angry. But you guys understand, yes? yes. Gareth, what are you charging per adjustment now? Uh, no, you're, no, no, a la carte. What? You're a la carte. No one pays that. But that's <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but if you want to go see Gareth and you want to pay per visit, you're going to pay a lot. You guys understand, yes? yes. Hello? Yes. So I consulted with a guy who uh, worked in one of the Channel Islands. And, and on that particular island, it's just weird that nobody on the island charges, it's just a bubble, nobody no, the island charges less than 70 pounds. And he, first practice ever, he just, there was no fear around it, he started adjusting and he's Per adjustment fee was 70 pounds. First practice ever owned, baby, didn't know his ass from his elbow. <laughs> didn't. He didn't. Oh, come on, we were all in practice, we didn't know when we first started. But he's trying 70 pounds adjustment on, on the island, uh, seeing 150 a week, 20% flat rate tax on this particular island, busted. <laughs> and making more money than most of the most experienced 500 a week chiropractors on the planet. You guys understand, yes? Now, it's not just about money, but it is about petrol. If you have petrol, you can market more, you can see more people, you can, see more, you can help more people, Yun, if you have that. Does it make sense, yes? yes? I was not supposed to spend as much time as I have on, on pricing, on pricing. I wasn't supposed to. Um, <laughs> but do you guys get it? Yes. Everyone point at me, point at me, point at me, point at me. And I want you to sarcastically go, we get it. Yes. Shut up already. <laughs> but you don't get it. Give someone a high five and say pricing could be the most important thing I learned the whole event.